Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of My Waifu and me and on today's episode we have another monthly manga haul for you guys. This one has been a really great month. We found quite a few unique things including some stuff that I found in Lubbock, Texas when I was out of town um, actually for a convention that I went to there and just some stuff that we found at some unique shops and half price books around town and that's kind of you know our big thing is that we like to go hunting and find some unique some special stuff that we find out there on the shelf so we want to share all that with you guys. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start off this episode with mainly our new and continuing series. So these are like stuff you might see in everyone else's manga hauls. These are majorly the series that uh, you probably are seeing a lot of people pick up because surprise, we also like those series. <laughs> They're usually very good. What? No but, way. <laughs> uh, most likely we've talked about these series before in previous videos. So if you want to hear our thoughts, make sure to go dig through and kind of figure out. But we'll be brief uh, for these first couple series. So waifu, start us off. What is the first thing that we got for this month? Probably the thing that everybody is getting, just like we mentioned, is the last volume of Wotakoi, especially these store exclusive versions. This is the Kino Kinia one, where they are kids on the cover, and it came with this cute little art card that is signed by the author. So, definitely happy to have that. And. And so then uh, after Waifu picked up her favorite cover, I said, okay, let me pick up my favorite one, which is the Barnes and Noble exclusive cover. So I really liked this cover. I thought it was super cute. And I really liked the sort of hollow foil on the heart there on the front as well. So a really awesome addition as well. Now there is two other covers for this uh, final volume and that's the Books A Million one and the actual standard edition one. And for me personally, I feel like the Barnes and Kino one are the stronger of the two with the other two just being more standard drawings of the two main characters. I think the Books A Million one is cute, um, but we actually missed it. They. Uh, they sold all of them at our local bar Books A Million, so uh, we missed it. So even if we wanted it, we couldn't have gotten it. But luckily, we didn't want it. We wanted this one and the one wife who got, okay? Next up, we've got Blue Period, Volume 7. We got the teacher on there. She's one of my favorites. And I'm really excited to read this because now it goes past where the anime left off. I mean, I've been reading it anyway, yeah. so... If you wanted to know, though, if you wanted to pick up after the anime, if you were anime only, Volume 7 is the one that you need to pick up next. Perfect. Next, we pick up the newest title from Shuzo Oshimi, a series that I've actually read a little bit ahead on, uh, but we were able to pick up the first volume of the physical, and I actually already saw the second volume of this physical series out in the wild, and that is Welcome Back Alice by Shuzo Oshimi. This is actually being printed technically by Kodansha, but clearly if you know Vertical, this feels like a Vertical book is what I will say. So just kind of prepare yourself for that. Uh, additionally, I ordered mine from Right Stuff and this is now the second time I've gotten some partially damaged products from Right Stuff. I don't know if they're just packing. We did get this, we got this package in six days. Literally between ordering and it arriving on our doorstep, six days, which yeah. is incredible. But because they packed a little haphazardly, I did have some little scuffed up corners. I'm not bothered by this one as much as I was about my ZOM 100 volume. But uh, yeah, this is the newest series. It is a, I don't, I don't want to use the word that I have heard, but it tackles gender, sexuality, identity, all that good stuff. Uh, and honestly, I, I've mostly enjoyed it. It does walk a certain line. So I will warn some people that you might be, uh, you might have some opinions about it. So I would encourage you to maybe give it a shot and see how you feel about it. Next up, we've got Kageki Shoujo, volume six. Still chugging along with this. Still excited to read it. Musicals, theater, acting. I love it. Uh, next, we have the first series that I'm going to have to do this for, and that's uh, Do You Like Big Girls, volume four. I'm not even going to show what's on that cover. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, this is a series about a young man who... Uh, yeah, volleyball team. It's just, it, children, this is not for you. This is an 18 plus series. Only read this Dad if you're an adult. Dad says no. Only read this if you're an adult. Only read this if you're an adult. Uh, it's a lot of fun for us adults, though. This is one I've been waiting for for a while. A Sign of Affection, Volume 5. Really love this kind of green color. We're finally moving away from kind of like the pinks. Now we're in the greens. But yeah, I wish that they would print these faster. Yeah. But... I mean, it's Kodansha, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm excited. I'm excited to keep collecting it. Up next, we have the newest omnibus for Shaman King, and that is this omnibus here. It's volumes 25, 26, 
and 27 with Lyserg, uh, Waifu's favorite character right there on the spine. Waifu loves Lyserg, and actually the art on the back of Horror Horror is really great. So, you know, Shaman King's one of my favorite series. There are now only three more of these, I believe, because there are 35 volumes in the true edition of Shaman King, which means that, uh, yeah, it means it's two more three-in-ones and then a two-in-one, I think is probably what they're gonna do, which is exciting. It means that this should be wrapped up uh, by the end of the year for sure, and you will finally be able to have the true ending to Shaman King in print because the original printing actually did not print the true ending because it concluded and then it came back. It's it's kind of an interesting story. Look it up on Wikipedia if you want to know more. But yes, the true ending will finally be in print once they finish these up. Now we have Dr. Stone, volume 22. We are inching towards the end of this being printed. We probably won't get the final, final volume until next year. It's got to be next year, yeah. That's kind of what we were talking about the other day. It'll probably be next year, but um, this cover is really, really cool. If you know what the story is, you know why it's cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> which I don't think you've caught up, have you? Uh, no, I have to read. I'm three <laughs> volumes behind right now. I'm on volume 20, so I have a couple <laughs> volumes to read now. Next is the next series that I have to put my hand over. One of my favorite manga that I'm actually reading right now, which is Gigant Volume 8 by Hiria Oku, the same author of Gaunts and Inuyashiki, two series that I also really enjoy. I've had a really good time with this. It is definitely 18 plus. So again, children uh, at home, uh, don't buy this and do not read this and do not look this up. But I'm having a blast and it's really <laughs> enjoyable. I believe it's only 10, maybe 11 volumes. So we're almost done and that's exciting. I'm excited to get the end of it and to see how it concludes. Uh, I'm not sure it's gonna be a great conclusion, but I know it's gonna end, so let's go. This next one, I really thought I was going to drop it, um, but then I kept reading it, and I, some people in the comments were definitely right. I think it does get better again. I think it had kind of like a... A lull. A lull, but yeah, now it, it's getting better again, and I mean, this cover was just too cute to resist. It's Comey. It's Comey. Oh my god. Look at her. Look at her in that cute little fall dress. Ah... <sighs> I hope I like it. <laughs> I hope I like it. I'm not fully caught up. I still have, oh my gosh, maybe like three or four more to read to catch up to this one. So that's probably going to be my priority is to catch up and then finally decide, okay, do I drop it or not? But it's still going. It's still going and going and going. When is enough enough? <laughs> Next, we have my favorite currently publishing shonen manga, actually, and that is surprisingly, and people are gonna be surprised by that, that is Call of the Night, volume eight. So I actually have already read this volume, and it was a spectacular volume. So if you really enjoy the sort of rom com uh, fantasy fiction that is kind of becoming popular right now, this is definitely a series I would encourage you to give a shot now while it only has eight volumes in print so far. It is a really fun read and a very quippy dialogue and a, a really nice pace to it. So if you're into that and if you, I guess if you dig vampires, definitely give Call of the Night a shot. This was a great volume. The end. Chainsaw Man, volume 11. We finally made it. Yeah. Just in time for the anime. Yep. So if you want to read it before the anime comes out, you have maybe a couple months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's doable. Jerry did it in a night. A day. I did it in a day. He did so it. I read he the whole series in, like, in a day. Six hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, very doable. Yeah. I caught up in like two days. Yeah. Because I doable. sleep. <laughs> very doable. So but yeah. One we enjoy, one that we had to add to the collection. Chainsaw Man. Next up, we picked up Alice in Borderland Volume 2. Uh, these are really awesome looking, uh, what do you call it, soft cover collections. They are two-in-ones, so they're, I mean, honestly, they feel great for two-in-ones and soft cover. They're in the Viz Sig style, so they're a little bit bigger. And I just really love the cover designs because I believe, to my understanding, the two things that you see the top and bottom, I think that's the original two volumes that are included. That's their covers, and they're actually flipped, one's flipped upside down and placed into the card style so this is a really cool and unique way to do this and the first volume is really good i have not had a chance to read volume two yet but it's a fun death game series so i'm excited to read volume two another one <laughs> this jujitsu kaisen yay <laughs> volume 16 all right give me the tape please <laughs> laugh break <laughs> having the fits 
All right, so next up is actually a series that I've been having a really good time with recently, and that is Fist of the North Star and these beautiful collected editions from Viz Media. I actually decided before we bought volume five that I was going to read volumes one through four because I had been buying them and not reading them yet. So I went through and finally read them and I had an incredible time with it. And I posted sort of a love letter over on our Instagram. So if you wanna go read that, here's some of my thoughts on the first four volumes you can. This is obviously a classic sort of masterpiece series. There's gonna be I believe 18 of these in total once they're all done. These are like one and a half in ones and it's really beautiful, really well done. There's a ton of color pages in these, which I didn't realize until I actually started reading. But uh, there's like literally like a ton of color inside of these collected editions. And yeah, absolutely get these if you want to try this series. And it's honestly such a joy to read. It finally happened. Jerry found 16 of Inuyasha. Yay. Shout out to Lubbock, Woo! Texas. And a small comic shop in Lubbock, Texas, which <laughs> happened to have this volume in stock still. Yay in a small comic shop and as you can see there on the cover it says uh creased cover so we actually yeah. got a slight deal on it because there was a small crease in the cover and you can't even really see it on the camera yeah. but the cover has like a bend in it essentially uh, you can't even really see it in person yeah. that much but i am i'm so happy to just be done be done with this yes um and now i can just binge the rest of it i'm on 11 right now so i was kind of i think i was reading it slowly on purpose because i was just waiting on 16 to yeah. either restock or for us to find it in a way like this just randomly somewhere yes um but now i feel like i can just full force just read through inuyasha every night and just go like yes and just finish it i'm so excited now we're getting into what i'm gonna call the nasty man territory so <laughs> shout out to at the dark stay sage and cast collects because i am uh, tainted it feels like by you guys and have now started to pick up even more and more series that I would consider uh, not for children so I'm gonna tell you right now my next couple pickups are absolutely 110% not for kids okay these are not for kids so first off I picked up if you saw in one of our older hauls uh, I found volume one of super H Eros or super heroes so I was able to find volumes two and volume three and like before i found both of these at half price books so they were only 6.99 a piece which makes it all the sweeter when you pick up a series like this uh for a reduced price in addition to that i found two other exciting uh nasty man series at half price books and this one is who wants to marry a billionaire i'm definitely not showing that right there on that cover but uh these were also both 6.99 and they're very much 18 plus so yes i was able to pick up a uh, volume one and volume two of this series as well and i've had a really good time with who wants to be who wants to marry a billionaire it is an interesting twist on an etchy death game sort of scenario i i genuinely it's garbage but it's like good garbage so if you want some good garbage uh definitely pick up who wants to marry a billionaire and obviously super h uh, x eros is as Cas collects puts it the holy texts this is one that people have been waiting for forever. It feels like Blue Lock finally came out. Mm -hmm. It's a newer uh, soccer seinen manga. I actually read a little bit before it came out um, yeah. <coughs> lately, and I enjoyed it. Um, you know, I, I enjoyed what I read of it, but it was it was kind of hard to keep track of as I was reading it <laughs> online. So uh, it's nice to actually have a printed version. So now I can keep track of what I have read and haven't read. But I do hope it gets animated one day too. It is. It is. Yeah. I think I knew that. The anime is coming out this year. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. I think I knew that and just totally forgot. I'm I'm losing my mind. Um. Well, best of both worlds then. <laughs> And I'll tell you right now, when this anime comes out, I think it's going to be really awesome and really, really spectacular. So yes. pick this volume up if you want to, because I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, an awesome, what would you call it? Like a twist on a sports, almost like a sports yeah. death game or something like that, right? Yeah, but not... In that vein. But not, not death. death. Yeah. It's, but it's very... I mean, it's like... It's like Weakest Link. Yeah. You know, we're watching that right now. We watch One that every week. One of our favorite week. game shows. Um, where he literally is almost like, you're the Weakest Link, goodbye. You can't, you can't do this. No soccer for you. Perfect. So. Okay, so two more series that uh, I would consider a little nasty. I just, I have to apologize. So I picked up, oh, I have to like read this one because K 
Cat in a Hot Girl's Dorm, Volume 1. I'm just naughty. I just don't even know what to do. As you can see there, though, I picked it up at Price Books <laughs> for $6.99. <laughs> I'm not showing the back. The back. Uh, I only picked up Volume 1 so far. I think there's already a Volume 2. And, uh, yeah, I already read this as well. It is exactly what you think it is, uh, honestly. Like, there's no... It, the title... Yep, it, yep, you got it. So, then I also picked up, and this was a nice surprise from... Half Price Books, is that I picked up volumes one, two, and three of Shiori's Diary. I think I can kind of get away with showing yeah. the cover of that. So um, there's volume one, two, and three back there. Sorry, I don't know how I'm holding this. I just want to show you guys that obviously <laughs> I got these for $6.99 a piece as well. And this is a completed series. So it is only three volumes and I was able to pick those up uh, in one go. So that was really exciting. Um, my buddy, The Dark Sage on YouTube, obviously has done a review on this series so i want you to go check his review out if you are interested in it so he got me interested to give it a shot so i was excited to pick up the entire series in one go and i'm gonna give it a read i've definitely been waiting for this one forever yeah months and it's witch hat atelier nine. Oh my gosh i i don't even remember when the last one came out it's been, i don't even remember it's been when a long i read time. it was it even this year i feel like it wasn't even this year yeah, I think it, it was probably last year. wasn't this year. I think so, you're right. yeah, so it, it took half a year to come out, basically. Um, but I mean, hey, a girl can wait. Mm -hmm. I'm patient. I'm patient. So, <laughs> I do really love the covers of these, as always. I, I think they're just gorgeous. The art is amazing. The the world building alone is just so cool for which story. So, definitely encourage you all to pick this up if you haven't yet. Okay, so as we get deeper into this haul video, we are starting to get a little bit more into our less standard uh, series. A lot of these are now series that we picked up from Half Price Books or we found at comic book shops, whatever it might have been, so that we started to pick up some more random volumes, things that are maybe not a standard stuff you're just going to find at Half Price Books. Although this first one I'm going to show is still sort of standard in that uh, matter, but uh, a bunch of these next couple are going to start getting into some of the deeper, deeper cuts. So first I do want to show this, which is the Adat and Deities No Only Piece Volume 1. I actually only only picked this up because it was $6.99 and half price books. This is a very a fairly new release. Uh, you can still find this at bookstores, but it just got a really cool anime adaptation a while back, and I wanted to go ahead and give the manga a shot since they decided to start publishing it, and $6.99, I couldn't pass it up. So mainly, I haven't read this one yet, but I am excited to give it a shot. And the last kind of standard one on my side is the second volume of Sakamoto Days. Just something that we are working on collecting. Um, I've read a good portion of it on the Shonen Jump app. And Jerry, I think you just read I only read volume one. Volume yeah. When it mm -hmm. came out. So we're just collecting it for collecting sake, for him to read. Yeah. Once it catches up to where I am, I'll start reading it. Probably just with the physicals. So but it's great. It's a great new Shonen Jump series. It came out about two years ago. Okay, up next, another series that I was actually able to find the first volume of at Half Price Books. And something you guys might know about us is we're really willing to try just about anything if we find it at Half Price Books, since you generally aren't going to find manga for right at half price, uh, except for at Half Price Books. So when we can find volume one of a series we thought about trying, we generally will try volume one, and if we don't end up liking it, we'll sell it. So that's kind of the idea with this one. We picked up a Possums Volume 1. This is a series by Sutomu Nihei. I don't think this is one of his more acclaimed series. Uh, and if you've seen our channel before, you know we've collected most of Knights of Sidonia. Uh, but uh, he also has a very popular series called Blam, or some people say Blame. Uh, but Blam, uh, uh, this is his newest series, I believe. And it actually is not finished. It's print run here in the U.S. And so there are, I think, maybe like one more volume that still needs to come out. But uh, we decided to grab Volume 1. It's one I've really been thinking about before. I like the evolution of his art style and sort of the science fiction nature of his story so i want to give this one a shot and see where it goes this next one's actually pretty special we actually got this from a friend of ours shout out to hobbies of man for hooking us up with writing at one he saw our last haul that we found all of it except for volume one, one. yeah <laughs> so we met up with him recently and he was so kind to uh, let us take this off his hands so thanks again hobbies of a man if you haven't checked him out yet please do we'll put his stuff on the screen somewhere um, and give him a shout out, give him a, a view, a like, a subscribe, a follow, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, up next is another Half Price Books find that I did. And honestly, I'm not, I'm not sure about this one. I do know the sort of checkered history of this series. It is a canceled series. And it was sadly canceled uh, due to the author being a total 
unfortunate creep. Um, and that kind of is a big turnoff from some of these types of series, similar like Roni Kinchin, etc. But I was still very interested in the concept. And so I decided to give it a shot just because it was from Half Price Books. So I'm not buying it directly from a major retailer. I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, see where it goes. I only think that Seven Seas printed a couple volumes of this, but it is Please Tell Me Galcochan Volume 1. Um, again, I'm a little on the fence on this one. I haven't actually read it before. I think I saw a little bit of the anime version that came out uh, before, but it's kind of like a comedy, etchy, uh, school setting type series. Uh, again, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not, I'm not sure about it right now just because of the circumstances surrounding the author, but I did pick it up uh, just, to, just to try it. Okay, next up we have Volume 1 and 2 of Snow White with, with the red, the red hair. hair. I almost said and. I tried to read it from the camera screen when I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Snow White with the red hair. Both half price finds. Actually found by Jerry, but he knew that I was interested in this series and I've been wanting to try it out. So again, you know, we'll try anything if it's half off. Um, yep. It's worth picking it up at the time when we find it. Even if I'm not going to read it right away, but it's definitely worth grabbing it for the price. So, thanks, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Up next, I did find one more volume of Siren, and that's volume two of Siren. So, if you know from my, our previous, most recent videos, I've been picking up a lot of Siren. I think I'm a little over, I'm like two thirds done with the set now at this point. I will say that this volume two that I found at Half Price Books was a little bit beat up. It's got some frayed edges. Um, it's not super yellow, but there's also some damage to the tops and bottoms of the spine. It's not a big deal to me for now. If I find a better copy of it in the future for a similar price, I might switch it out, but it just depends. But yeah, I'm still missing a couple volumes. I think I'm missing like three through five, and I think I have six, and then I'm missing like seven through nine, or seven, no, I'm missing seven and eight, and I have nine, and I'm missing 10, and then I have 11 through 15, and I don't have 16, which is the finale. It's an underrated shonen from early, early 2000, uh, mid 2000s actually, I think. But uh, never ended up getting adapted into an anime, but uh, finished after about 16 volumes. So very interesting shonen series to add to the shelf. So this was a pretty weird coincidence to find this after finding the first one not too long ago. Mm -hmm. um, Maria the Virgin Witch and it's volume two. Also found it at half price. So it was just mm -hmm. there. Um, we found that first one at uh, the con we were at in that huge manga booth video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, and yeah, so it's a new series to me. I still haven't read that first volume, but you know, saw it volume two and I wanted to pick it up you know half price why not <laughs> Okay, so up next, I was able to find two volumes of the Vampire Hunter D manga by Hideyuki uh, Kikuchi. So this is volume five, and then this is volume seven of the Vampire Hunter D manga. To my understanding, volume eight was only published digitally. So after this, I'm only missing volumes four and six to complete all these. And I believe that each of these manga volumes adapts like a, a single uh, volume of the novels is my understanding so uh, one of them does correspond directly with the vampire D hunter d anime movie which is very popular um and yes some people say that this adaptation is not the strongest but i thought it would be fun to read and try out because i am a fan of the of the older movie that came out so i wanted to give it a shot i'm not sure it's going to work for me uh maybe i'll want to read the novels afterwards i'm not sure but i was able to pick these up the cool thing is i picked these up at the store in lubbock and i really hope that at some point in this video i clip in a little bit of the footage from that store in lubbock because it was the coolest manga store i've ever been inside of that's like an independent store so it was just like this massive wall of like manga so hopefully i can clip it in right here so you guys can kind of see what it looked like um and there was this awesome dog i'll put the name of the store on screen as well because big shout out to him he was selling all of his series for retail price so the price on the cover which is fine for us uh this time around so next up i found volume one and two of yubisaki milk tea i kind of have to cover it up a little bit because it's a little Woohoo. Sketchy. So, um, yeah, just an old Tokyo Pop series, but mm -hmm. um, it deals with themes of gender and sexuality. So, uh, I thought it looked interesting. And, you know, the art actually looks pretty cool, too. So, I wanted to try it out for cheap. Again, it's a half price find, so, worth picking it up. Next, another addition to my Del Rey shelf, which is something that I've been growing a lot lately, and that is, surprisingly, Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei Volume 5. I also found this at the uh, comic shop in Lubbock, Texas. And yeah, this is actually, unlike the last ones where I found some Kodansha versions, this is a Del Rey printing for sure. And I am trying to put together all the Del Rey volumes and then all the Kodansha volumes for it as well, so I can have the complete printed set of Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. But uh, yes, I'm excited to get more of this. I know that they never finished printing all of it, but 
so be it. I'm still excited to have Volume 5. This one I got as part of a buy two, get one free deal at uh, Books a Million. And that is the Masterful Cat is Depressed Again Today. I felt like I could relate. I don't know. So <laughs> I just wanted to try it and uh, see what it was about. But it, I mean, it looks really cute. It looks like a big cat just taking care of people and having feelings. <laughs> it just looks so cute. So yeah, I picked that up. So next is kind of an interesting pickup. It is a series called Psychono, and I picked up volumes one, two, and three of Psychono. And as you can see here, the first volume I actually found for $3.50 at a Second and Charles in Lubbock, Texas. And then I ended up finding volumes two and three at that comic book shop in Lubbock, Texas. And I believe this series is seven volumes total. And I believe it has some sort of connection. Somebody used the Wikipedia, correct me, but I think it has some sort of connection to either Ennio Asano, one of those sort of legendary modern mangaka. I want to say either this person worked on a series with Ennio Asano or uh, maybe even worked for Ennio Asano, something like that. I think he has some connection back to one of those mangaka. So someone correct me down below and tell me uh, where I'm at with that. But yes, I, this is three of seven. So I hope to get the rest. It looks like a really interesting story. Um, it's one of those ones that, you know, you want to buy the whole set and binge it kind of thing because <laughs> I, I definitely want to look into it. But the art really drew me in with this. I mean, look at how beautiful the cover for volume uh, two is. I just really like that. I mean, the orange editor's choice at the top isn't my favorite, but uh, the actual cover art is really beautiful. So definitely wanted to give this one a shot. You know, I'm definitely in that zone of sort of those sane in that make you think kind of thing. So I wanted to give this one a shot. And obviously finding the first volume for $3.50, how can you pass that up? So this was a really cool find. We found the collector's edition of Card Captor Sakura Volume One Beautiful. at a half price. Boom! Sticker to prove it. <laughs> These are just so gorgeous. They're kind of almost on the level of the Udon printing of Rosa Versai for me because it has that foiling on it. Um, Kadansha actually did pretty good with it. I mean, the alignment's a little wonky on the spine. But other than that, I mean, it really looks awesome. And I just love when they reprint older series, nostalgic series, like Heart Captor Sakura, like Sailor Moon, like Rose of Versailles. I mean, you open it up and you get this beautiful, beautiful color, page. color page. I mean, gosh, it's really amazing. Um, and yeah, the quality is just super high and you get it kind of zoomed in for you. Um, the pages aren't too thin. Oh. There's a card in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have expected that in the half price version. This is probably some of these bookmarks. Like, yeah. Oh, no, it, it comes with it. Card Catcher cool. Sakura Collector's Edition 1. That's cool. Someone put the card back in it. They really did. For the, uh, for yeah, when they brought it to half Kedansha. price. It's probably hard to see, but it says Kadansha in that corner. That's awesome. Neat. But, yeah, really cool find at a half. Okay, so next is a little bit of Makoto Raikou for you. So I was able to uh, pick up volumes two and volume three of Zatch Bell. So I now have volumes one through five of this series. And you guys are going to be a little disappointed in me. I did pay $15 for one of those, but I only paid $9.99, which is retail price for the other one. I paid a little bit more just so that I could have one through five. I wanted to have one through five of this series. It's a start. Uh, they didn't end up printing the entire series, but there are a lot of volumes of this, and they get pricier depending as you go up. Uh, it's just one of those classic nostalgia series for me, so I'm excited to have the first five now, and that makes me really happy, but uh, I'm not sure what'll happen next with this. I'm not trying to spend more than about... 15 is kind of my limit for what I'm actually willing to spend on a volume. Uh, maybe $20, maybe, if I'm really vibing, but uh, yeah, it'll be tough to go over that. They actually had more but they were marked up 25, 30 something dollars each. So I didn't buy past volume five, but I think they had like six through 13 at the store. They might even still have them there. Um, I might go back for them because I know these are getting harder and harder to find and they were in impeccable shape. So whoever brought these to that half price books, they took really good care of their manga. So excited to have these and uh, see what comes next with that. But additionally, I did find Animal Land Volume 1, which this makes me so excited. This is another series by Makoto Raikou, which is the author of Zatch Bell. And this is such a cute looking series. I have never checked it out before, but I really like the way this is printed. And I, I don't know, there's just something really exciting about that. I'm not sure how many volumes total it is, but I would like to try to get the rest of this for sure. I like to get older series from mangaka that I'm really uh, a fan of. So uh, having Animal Land is another cool series to have. 
another series completed. <laughs> we completed Sailor Moon Eternal Editions. We've got eight. We've got nine. And we've got ten. Woo! We did it. We did it. These are gorgeous, honestly. Mm -hmm. We love these. I love the, the holographic on it. It, it's just the, like I said about Car Captor Soccer. Like this is just this is how older series deserve to be printed. I will stand by that forever. And the last pickup of this haul was very interesting, and that is Trigun, the original manga, Volume One, in the Barnes and Noble exclusive hardcover edition. So I walked into Half Price Books, and Wife who pointed this out to me because I didn't even realize what it was on the shelf, but it was marked half off of its cover price, or no. I think the actual cover price for these were like 14, it was like 15 maybe. So it's like a little bit below its cover price. But uh, what's interesting about this is you're probably wondering what's going on here. It's that this is missing a uh, like a dust jacket. So this originally had a dust jacket inside or around it and uh, the dust jacket is missing from this volume and it's uh, a little scuffed up because of that, because of its missing dust jacket. It also has uh, what I like to call the half price books mysterious uh, what do you call it? Mysterious stains. So this one, I have a guess. It looks like someone might have been eating uh, Doritos while they were reading their Trigun Volume 1. And so they were thumbing through it and they got some Dorito <laughs> dust on it. I'm not sure. But this is still a really cool half price or, uh, really cool half price find. I would like to have the dust jacket. So kind of disappointing that it didn't come with it. But I still actually like the look of this spine without the dust jacket. So if I can get the other volume, which it's not too expensive because there's just two in the original Trigun set. Uh... I could put it next to it, take the dust jacket off that one, and it actually would look pretty good on the shelf, I think. So, I don't know, you guys tell me what you think, but I would like to go ahead and have that so that I have the entire original series before the maximum volumes that were made, which I do have a couple random maximum volumes, but there's like 14 of those, so I have a lot more to get. But uh, with the new anime coming out, I actually am a little worried that these mics are getting harder to find. So I might actually have to jump on it and start trying to hunt down more of Trigun so I can actually complete the whole set. And on that note, that is our haul for the moment. That is all the manga that we picked up recently. We're happy and lucky that we were able to share it with you guys today. Uh, honestly, that's all we have for you. So make sure that you like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy watching manga hauls or manga shopping videos or just two people talking about manga, sharing their joy and love and passion for collecting. If that's what you enjoy, then this is the place that you need to be. So make sure you jump down there, press that like button, press that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite series was that we picked up this month or what series you picked up this month. So you can share that with us and we can let you know what we think about it. On that note, this has been another episode of My Waifu and Me. Thanks so much. And we're saying peace. peace.